How you doing YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review, and it is some dry hop season time in the form of Trillium Brewing's Free Rise. Um, dry hop with Citra, um, this is actually one of many Trillium reviews I've done um, uh, over the past year or so. Lucky enough to have a lot of friends that travel up that way, come back, bring me stuff. This one comes from my buddy Steve. You've seen him on uh, maybe a couple of reviews or even uh, even some of the uh, radio show stuff I've done. So thank you very much, Steve. Uh, he picked this up. Well, he was up there and he's like, what do you want? And I asked him to pick me up this because I've never had a season from Chile. I've had sours and stouts and all kinds of IPAs. So I figured it'd be a nice little change of pace. We're going to find out. So as far as what it says on the can itself, it says free rise Citra Dry Hop Saison, 7.3% alcohol by volume. So a little bit up there as far as uh, ABV-wise, it's uh, traditional Saison would be, I guess you'd say. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Lee Wise, as always, it's Trillium Can, so it is fucking awesome. I just love them. I dig them all day. I'm a sucker for it, so yeah. Anyway, so uh, Date Nazis, we have a week and a half old. So let's see what this sucker has to offer. Dry hop stays on Citra hop, dry hop. So, you know, typically when uh, Trillium does their dry hopping, they do tend to get a bit aggressive with their dry hop. So, um, you know, just off of experience, you'd expect this to be a little bit, you know, uh, not even a little bit. you expect it to be a bit more outside of the typical um, season kind of box, I guess you'd say. Anyway... Um, just over a finger of head that's really creamy. It's kind of like clinging to the edge of the glass. It's going to be nice lacing on this one. It's kind of dipping down. It's really kind of in, in, inner beveled and, uh, pretty, um, you know, uniform bubbles throughout. It's got a nice haze to it. Definitely has that New England style IPA kind of haze thing that goes on with the old, uh, trilliums and whatnots. Um, but it's a bit more washed out. Um, not as pineapple juicy, not as muddled. It's a bit more of just a straight yellow to this one. So, yeah. Does she look like a Saison? Sure. A Trillium Saison. So, let's see what she smells like. <sighs> yeah, not nearly as dry hopped as I thought it was going to be based off of history. Um, you know, the dry hopping's there. The citrus there. It's very orangey, very... Um, very not sweet, but not um, uh, bitter, somewhere in between kind of citrus. And there's a little bit of a dry, subtle white pepperiness to the yeast there that kind of makes you, well, forces you to be like, okay, we're not drinking an IPA here or a pale ale. We're drinking something with a little bit more yeast character than, you know, what they you typically get from, um, from, uh, from um, you know, just a base pale ale. And that's pretty much it. There's weird kind of umami kind of savoriness to it, too. But yeah, it's all about the citra in there. It's not overly aggressive. It's not super sweet in one way or super bitter in the other. It's just very balanced, very complimentary. The, this, the yeastiness is just a generic kind of spicy pepper. Nothing much beyond that. So yeah, I mean, she smells absolutely bright, absolutely refreshing. So she smells good. She looks good. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Okay. Yeah. Definitely a Saison. Oh, sometimes when you get these, you just think, okay, maybe it's just a pale ale um, with a little bit different kind of yeast strain. Um, even though that um, that yeast is not overly funky, um, not super wild or funky in any form or fashion, it's still, um, it's still uh, drying, very drying in a very good way. And that kind of pepper coriander kind of vibe I'm getting from it is pretty cool. The, again, the dry hopping, like I said, on the nose, not a, super aggressive, very balanced with the, how delicate the beer is. I mean, it's seven and change, so it's not an uber delicate beer. But as far as being in line with the flavors that the beer actually represents, 
it's right where it should be. Anything more and it would just kind of take over the beer and it just become its own different thing and not really be as balanced or as nuanced. And I guess that would be like the kind of kind of calling card of this beer for me. This is probably the most subtly nuanced beer that I've had from Chile. I've had their sours, like I said, some of their stouts, their barley wines, everything, pretty much everything but um, this. And while they're nice, you know, the sours are nice, but they're very singular, I guess you would say. A lot of the beers are very, you know, and they're very good, don't get me wrong, no way am I pooping on them, but it's like, you know, the, um, the dry hopping on the IPAs are two by four to the face with the hops, you know what I mean? The, the, the stouts, while nice, it's, you know, very basic. This has a little bit more kind of nuance and complexity going on, even though I am calling it very simple, and that's kind of like an oxymoron. Well, you're calling it a simple beer. You're sitting there saying it's just kind of a peppery, dry yeast, and a dry hopping of citra. Yes, but the balance and the way it's done is just so delicate. It, maybe I shouldn't say nuance. I should say most, more, most delicate, interesting beer I've had from Trillium. So, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. Nice dry, not dryness from the yeast. Nice white peppery coriander kind of vibe going on in there. Um, the dry hopping is done elegantly and beautifully, and it's balanced really, really well. Um, you get it. There's a little bit of bitterness, but there's a little bit of sweetness, and you know it's citric because there's a lot of oranges going on, and it's just a generic kind of citrus, citra hop kind of vibe, but it's not overpowering the beer in any way, so the balance is key in this one, and uh, it's pretty damn fucking good. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about it. It's one of the better saisons I've had as of late. Yes. Um, I've had ones that are a bit more traditional, and they probably float my boat a little bit more than this one, but... Um, yeah, this does not suck in any form or fashion, so it's one of the better ones, especially American-born ones, that aren't too funky. When you start to get those really kind of Brett or wild funky saisons, it's almost like a whole different kind of ball game. More of like a traditional yeast-based saison. This is definitely up there. Value and availability, I believe it was right around $17 for a four-pack. Um, and it's telling me to go to the brewery to get it. The money, you know, you would love to see this a little bit cheaper, around the $12 to $14 range, but, you know, they sell up. All their shit, so who am I to tell them how to price their stuff when they um, sell everything out? Um, and uh, just say, if you like what we like us, if you want to know what it would be like to have that marriage between your New England IPAs and um, our New England style beers, I guess you say, not necessarily IPAs, and more of a you know traditional Saison, somewhere in between, if you want to know what that world is. Um, if you like Saisons, not super funky and a bit more kind of reined in yeast wise, if you like dry hopping, um, and you like balance and you like good beers, you'd definitely be in this sucker because that's what this delivers. Balance and deliciousness. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tap massive beers in all four of those places. And yeah. Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying this or a nice dry hop saison right now. And uh, hope to see you next time. Cheers.